there we go welcome to the uh, bit of Christmas in there we are in December 5th December and uh, a very happy midweek to you hope you're having a good week and health and shaves and all that good stuff um, and thanks for joining me yet again for the midweek shave what we're we going to use right well be a few people wanted I think to see the the future I don't mean see into the future the Merca future to shave that um, the Van Dyke the goatee the door knocker off and the Movember shave but um, so what I thought I'd do is not use the main sheet I'd use the highest I've got the gold that's the Merca future gold it costs about ten thousand <laughs> No, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful, though? Um, I always got a thing for the uh, for the Merca future. Right, rich man shaving. If you've heard of Rich Hansen, um, I think most of you will know who he is. And he very kindly uh, sent, he said, I'm going to send you something, and I think you'll like it. And he wasn't wrong. And there was this thing. Look at that. I hope you can see that. Can you see that glinting? I don't know, inside this handle. Absolutely beautiful. I tell you what, Rich, you're doing a superb job. And this, I love. He's got his uh, logo. That's a coin in the base of every brush he makes. Good idea, that. That's a very good idea. So it doesn't matter what design brush, how many brushes, it'll go into each one and nobody'd ever forget what make it is. That's, that's, I know you're doing a business now, Rich. And good luck to you. I'm sure your father. One thing I relate with Rich is he's also lost his dad. Um, I've lost mine many years ago now. And... Uh, he was lucky enough to have his dad involved in his shaving. I've seen one video where he went to the uh, the Big Shave West, I think it was, uh, when your dad was okay in good health. And then you did shaves with him. And then uh, sadly had his stroke, didn't he? And, uh, but you still carried on shaving him. And that's a good thing, you'll never forget that. And you know, it'll always be with you. It's fantastic. Um, but here we go, and he did this. That's for me. And this is the uh, Synthetic Dark Knot Badger, or the Badger Knot Dark Synthetic. It's a, yeah, it's beautiful. Nice backbone to it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you very much, Rich. And this particular brush is made, apparently, for the group members only on his Facebook group. I'll put all the links to his YouTube channel, his uh, Facebook and his Etsy in the description below and if you want to ask anything about brushes any questions um, you'll be happy to answer them on this face Facebook so uh, thank you Rich I'm going to use that today not only that I'm going to show you this he sent one for Mrs H <laughs> that's the first and of course the same kind but look at that the pink beautiful I don't have the light picking the glistening there's um, like sparkly stuff inside the handle beautiful she loves it thank you very much and I think this is a not a darkness the um, synthetic badger I presume by looking at it and feeling it really nice thank you very much Rich um, so I'm not going to use Mrs H's I'll use my own I'm just going to put that in the water and I thought I'd use the soap you sent me many years ago that Still got it. It's a Margaritas in the Arctic, Sterling Soap Company, and it's a beautiful. It's a um, menthol. So we're having a menthol theme today. Um, well, I'll talk to you about something in a minute. I'm gonna have a shock. I'm just gonna wet my face. <laughs> Right, let that wet, then we'll create the ladder, it won't take long. Okay, let's see how this does. I'm going to go straight from the puck. It's only me that uses this. 
very good backbone, I can feel straight away. It's a synthetic. Feels in the hand like a badger. So it's a good mimic of it. Really nice. So I'm going to gather off the tips. And then, what I shall do, is dip in the water and watch this. Now this is a warm, this is a warm sort of shave. Good backbone to that, wow. Now you can see that's gathered. I'm closing my eyes because I'm having a few fumes off it. I haven't had a mental shave for a while. I always leave it till the winter. Okay. Could use a pre-shave use in the future, but uh, the blade inside that future, if you remember that um, Supermax, the blue diamond I used, I put that in it. Um, so we'll see how that does. But I've said before, you could put a piece of cardboard in a Merca Future and you'd have a good shave. So that's really nice. Rinse the hands. Clear the lips. And I'm going to put it on its highest setting, number six. If I can show you that. Setting number six. Only for the first pass and then I'll bring it down. So warm the razor up, mental shave warmed up, so here we go. Wow, it feels a different place in that, amazing. Still doesn't, um, I mean the, the razor is aggressive. But the blade still feels nice and smooth, nice and gentle. It has been used once, obviously, but uh, there's no aggressiveness to it, if that makes sense. And if anybody want to have a walk down them tunnels there. <laughs> Here we go. Very gentle. And it's clean, beautiful. Nice menthol kick, that'll get stronger as we go through the passes. <clears throat> I can feel it a bit on my, in my eyes, on my eyes, in my eyes. Rich man strong. Yeah, fair play to you, Rich. As you say, many thanks, brother. <laughs> yeah, we're all brothers in the shaves, aren't we? Brotherhood. That was a group, wasn't it? Brotherhood of man. Yeah. Like I say, the future is not everybody's cup of tea, as we say over here. You know, some people say it's too smooth, too heavy, too bulky, too aggressive. I love it. And especially this chrome and the gold. It really makes something that stands out. How was that? That's a lovely first pass, that felt very nice. 
so we bring that down now to three and we'll use it you see as a as a, an adjustable razor so the menthol kicks not too bad slickness is very good sterling soap oh yeah if you stick around when I finished this shave very quickly I was uh, when I thought to myself, I'll tell you, I'll use the soap rich scent years ago. And uh, I was thinking that menthol yeah, soaps, I've got about four, I think. No. Have a guess how many you think I've got menthol soaps? Let you think for a minute. Fifteen. Couldn't believe it. So I've just gone back to the water with this. Just gather a bit more. Don't need much. And then we're going to go wet again. 15. Here we go. Mm. I'll tell you something. If you want, I can say this straight away. If you want a synthetic brush, but you want the backbone of a badger or a boar, good backbone. One of the best, strongest, it feels soft, like a synthetic, but the backbone is strong. One of the strongest I've got, I think. Wow. Mm, I love this type of lather. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's like, it's like painting emotion on your face. Gloss paint. Beautiful. You need something that sticks with this sort of razor. And again, the fumes, as I call them, the you know vapors of the menthol isn't isn't too bad at the minute. They're there because I'm just slightly. So here we go, Merca Future Gold, Supermax Blue Diamond, used once. This is the second use, and we're now on setting three for across the road second pass. Here we go. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. See, I'm sure, is that the same spot I did last time? I think I didn't feel that. So are you shaving with? Do you just, I suppose you, most people have us just as, we class as a standard shave during the week if you're working and keep the sort of the nicer shaves to the weekend, yeah? Or, although I do know one or two people have commented saying no. They make the time to enjoy every shave, which is fair enough. Absolutely fair enough, that. Right, just bear with me. Off your breakfast there. Wow, the slickness of the try that beautiful. Listen to that. Wow. <laughs> Mm. 
this is an aggressive razor on any setting really. Wow, wow. Second pass. Beautiful. Yeah, so at the end of the shave, only if you're interested, if you're not, you know, when I end it, thanks for watching. You're free to go, but uh, I just want to show you quickly the 15 soaps of the mentholated. Um, I never thought I'd have that many, to be fair. Okay. A few more off the pack there. I love this stuff. Now I can feel it. Now I can feel it. Okay, here we go. Third pass. Third application. Mmm. Wow. And this soap is a few years old now. Good as new. And I'll just show you this puck. That's what it looks like now because I've used it all. I'll rinse that out and let it air dry till tomorrow probably. And then put the lid on and keep it. That's all I do. But I do, somebody did ask actually, I always let my soap, the hard, so, uh, the hard cropes, the hard soaps or the cropes, if they come in a tub, as I say, rinse it out, I let it air dry. And the same with the shave sticks, rinse them, let them air dry, and then if they've got a box, they go back in. If they haven't, well, they don't. There we go. I can feel the menthol now more. So we're going down to setting one now, very carefully. There we go. So it's a good thing we're using the razor for its full potential. It's an adjustable, we're using most of the settings and uh, this feels much milder but it's still aggressive, if that makes sense. Very slick soap, very nice. And if you didn't rinse like I do, that soap would cling to the razor more. That's how it's staying clean because I rinse regular. Not too. This soap likes water. Here. The thing with the... I found years ago, with a razor like this, You've got to be slightly confident with it, not overconfident, because it'll bite, but if you're underconfident, it'll bite. And what I mean by that, I'll try and show it. When I'm going to shave on the camera, I sometimes go slow, and you'll hear it start to catch. Watch. If I can. Hmm. Sometimes you'll feel it catching, and it stops. Once it stops, that's when you can cut yourself, because you only have to move it either way, slightly in. So what I mean by confident, you have to make a decision, you're going to shave from here to here, very lightly, without stopping. And that way, you very rarely cut yourself. He said over there. But you know what I mean, hopefully, if that explains something. Just got to have a slight bit of confidence. You 
you've got to show, you know, you've got to respect the razor. But you've also got to show it who's boss, who's in charge. And that's it. Like owning a dog, as well, you've got to respect the dog, treat it well, but show it as well who's who's in charge. Very, very slick. Wow. Look at that. Uh, very kind Rich, thanks for doing this, for sending them. It's really nice. I seen you putting pictures up on there. Well, in your shaves and in your Facebook and things like that. I uh, have these brushes and that always caught my eye, the coin. And I thought, what a fantastic idea because. It'll always be your brush and nobody could ever misidentify it. Wow. Beautiful. Have I gone over that again? Well, rinse off. And then if you can help me count, I'd be very grateful. What time is it? Three, two, one, it's Rich Man Pickup Time, baby! <laughs> rich Man Shaves Pickup Time. Pickup Time, baby! Here we go. Can you look at that? If you can see the glossy, beautiful. I could do the pickups with no soap, I think. Not going to chance it though. I'm going to really wet that brush because this soap loves water and becomes even slicker with water so if you like it thick it's good if you like it thinner it's excellent keep it on setting one here we go pick up time it's nice to have the menthol it's not as um, I thought this was a strong menthol, um, you know, sort of vapour, but it's not today. It's not as, um, it might feel worse, I think, with cold waters better, but uh, you, can, you can certainly know it's menthol and it's there, but uh, it's nothing major. That's in this particular shave, anyway. But it's very nice. Pick up time. Just a touch there. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Right, just rinse off. I wasn't using an alum because I usually dry my face and oh, I'm using an alum. <laughs> right. Absolutely beautiful. Thayer's medicated super hazel.
Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. First thing it reminds you, clove, dentist, anaesthetic. <laughs> Paul, I don't know if you're watching. You're a dentist. And uh, you'd love this stuff. <laughs> Right, um, Osage or Osage, depends how you say it, rub, Osage rub. This is one of the strongest menthol sort of cologne aftershaves I've got. And it comes in a bottle like that. But uh, I was actually sent this a long, long time ago. Look, there's still a lot left in it. Don't use a lot because it's quite strong. It's green in colour. But don't worry, you don't turn into the Hulk or nothing. This is the fumes. Woohoo, baby! Clean the old nostrils out. <laughs> this is strong and you can feel it. If you like menthol, I love it. That is strong, wow. And then to put the moisture back, if I can see, <laughs> L'Oreal Men Expert with Hydra Sensitive Soothing Birch Sap. Good stuff. This should have a good combination actually. Into warm hands. Oh, and I forgot to for you, sorry. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing I was saying before. I can touch home with um, with Rich or with anybody who's lost their father, but in particular Rich because he's a shaving on you shaver, wet shaver on YouTube. He's, um, but it's nice that you've done all that with your dad. You know, and you've got him on camera, and that's fantastic. I wish I had my father. If I had my dad now, I'd have loved nothing more to send him next door uh, with a shave done and let him pick whatever he wanted in there and try it and use it and it'd have been good you know it's uh but um yeah good luck with your business rich brush love it absolutely love it the feel of it there's a good grip here i like these sort of curves where you can really go to town there's a good backbone on it like i said it's a synthetic it's the um, Badger Dark, synthetic Dark Knot Badger. You trying to say that? It was made, um, these are exclusively for the group members. Uh, look at that though, beautiful. Two tone. And as I say, I love that thing. Really nice. And um, just a quick look at that. This is H's. And this is a th synthetic Badger uh, Light Knot, <laughs> I presume. <laughs> Normal knot. Where are you? There you go. Rich man. Rich man strong and rich man shaving. So many thanks Rich and the group for the brushes. Really nice. Worked well. I'm very pleased I've sort of caught there and there but that's the my fault not the, not the future. Used the Merca Gold today. Merca Future Gold. Beautiful. I've always wanted this one to get my, I've got the satin or is it yeah satin finish. The chrome and the gold now. I love this razor. Um, we've used Margaritas in the Arctic by Sterling Soap. It's a menthol soap. It wasn't a strong menthol soap in this, but I'm sure it was when I first used it. Um, but that could have been because of cold water, or maybe I'm getting used to it. I don't know. <laughs> That's a, that was sent by Rich as well. Many thanks. Now we rinsed with water. We used the Super Max Blue Diamond second use of the blade, really nice. And these are uh, a couple of things there. Rinse off with water, we use the Thayer's Medicated Super Hazel. And then the Osage Rub, Osage Rub, very strong um, mentholated uh, lotion. What's it called? You know, guys, in splash for the head and face here. Yeah. Really invigorating, I tell you, you know, you've had some of that. It wakes you, my eyes, people think I'm crying. <laughs> and then, um, to put the moisture back, we use the L'Oreal, the uh, birch sap. 
cream, very nice. So that's the end of the shave. Um, as I say, if you don't want to see these soaps, it's that's the end of the shave and that's the end of the video for you. But if you want to, um, stick around and I'll uh, I'll show you them. But if you're not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the Sunday shave. And uh, if you're still there. Thank you very much. I'll show you the uh, 15 menthol soaps. Unbelievable. I'm having a bit of a clear out in there because I said in the last shave I'm going to start using a lot of my older soaps. So that's the one we use today. That's one. The second one is the Parasso Green. Third one is the Razor Rock Brain Freeze. And I remember having this a few years ago now and they said, what do you think of it? And I said, well, the name's wrong. It's not as cold or it's not as uh, sort of strong as the name suggested. And they said, right, we'll change the name. Whether they did, I don't know. Or whether they discontinued it, I have no idea. But, uh, let's see. It comes with a lovely plastic cover. Oh, there it is. But, um, so that's the Razor Rock Brain Freeze. That's three. The Chiselled Face Cryogen, that's four. <laughs> the Sterling Soap Company Lemon Chill, that's five. Sterling Soap Company Orange Chill, that's six. Nanny's Silly Soap Ice and a Slice, that's seven. Ingram Shaving Cream. That's eight, that's highly available in this country. Savers and places like that. And some supermarkets. Palm olive, and that says there with menthol, as you can see there. Is it that one? Oh, a menthol up. Palm olive. How many is that now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Phoenix frostbite. Nine. Uh, Gillette Menthol 10 Fine Snake Bite 11 Camfort's Frostbite 12 <laughs> Good grief OSP uh, Grapefruit and Menthol Scented Shaving Soap Grapefruit and menthol. Is that 13? Is that 14? I'm losing count. Excuse me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's it. So one more this way. And the OSP, uh, the Obsessions, the Obsessive Soap Perfectionist OSP. And this is um, eucalyptus, tea tree, and menthol. 15 and there's probably one more there somewhere I don't know if there's 15 menthol soaps I never knew I had I thought I had four or five so it just shows you this obsession can become well obsessive so that's it I've kept you long enough hope you're interested in that or it interested a few people it may give you ideas of soaps and things if not um, but anyway thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed the shave. Hope you have some good shaves and have a great rest of the week. Good health, positivity. Try and stay happy if you can. Look after each other. And uh, I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. Take care.